Okay. Now, wow. Okay, Ooh. let's start the serious news. <laughs> oh, girl, complex. <laughs> <laughs> I am tired of begging for collaboration. That's according to Sam Clef, Nigerian producer and artist. Sam Clef has come out to state that he's tired of reaching out to artists to beg for collaboration. He made this known via his Twitter account where he shared a video with the caption, I'm tired of begging for collaboration from your artists. I knew most of them before they became stars. They only reach out when they need something from you. Once they get what they want, they go mute. Take a look at that video clip. Why is Sam Clef not dropping those beats like they are? Basically, most of these artists, man, I knew them way back when they were nobody, but you know, I'm tired of reaching out to artists and begging for artists for collaboration. But this year, we go ball. <laughs> Sam Clef is an Arjun artist and producer who was instrumental in a lot of artist projects in the past, including Whiskey's debut album, Superstar. All right, so guys, what do you have to say about this? Um, the moment people saw this video, I don't know, the comment section went wild where people were like, um, are you talking about Whiskey? Because we can't remember you helping the video. <laughs> <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, a whole lot. Uh, but, but you nice know how Nigerians can be now? The only one they remember very well is Whiskey. So they were like, ah, okay, if you want to call out Whiskey, call out Whiskey. You tell us a Nigerian artist. Why are you hiding under Nigerian artist? You know, and Nigerians, they will tease you and tease you and tease you. You now come out and you two can be dropping names. I don't, I, I don't think he was talking about Whiskey. I think they've squashed that their beef that really? they were having. Yeah, they even tweeted that themselves recently. I think it's just a case of, um, so he put up a beat on Twitter, um, a fella sound um, mm -hmm. mashup with Af um, Trap. Mm. So it was now trying to push that beat out. That's when people now started a conversation. Ah, this beat will work with so-so person, feature oh. so-so person. And I said, mm -hmm. oh, all those artists that you call them for feature, they will not mm. answer you. Um, not so, that so, he just came to say it out of yes. nowhere. Yeah. So I think it's a situation of, I don't think he should be angry. I was listening to a Jay-Z interview one time, and Jay-Z said that if I'm not in that vibe, if... I think I can't connect with you. I will not do the collaboration. Because it's, it's, I want to yeah, please you. because I want to please you. I will not jump on a song with you if I'm not feeling it or feeling the beat or feeling any synergy. I yeah. think Nigerian artists or people in general should just have that notion that if mm. it's not working, don't form because now nah, my guy, my guy, make I jump on. Her. Tell they should learn to tell. No, I don't think I can jump on this right now. I'm not feeling this right now. But then yeah, again, that being said, it's not that serious okay, now. Go on. But then again, you know, uh, this is not even a producer's issue. I've seen an OAP, an old OAP, like a veteran, who said to me before that, you see, artists can be very funny, that w when they need you, when they're still climbing, and, they, they, and then standard. once they see It's standard, like, everybody and, knows and, that. Yeah, <laughs> and he was talking about a certain person he saw at the airport, and that person was uh, looking at him in a funny way, somebody yeah. who used to, like, baba, help, baba, help. So I'm just like, maybe it could just be the same thing. Like, people generally, when they don't need you, maybe Move artists on. are fond of doing this thing they they just move on or when they are blown when they have not blown they are looking for you everywhere Ari help me help me help me and then they blow <laughs> and then they pretend as if they don't know you they see I, you at the airport and they're just like I, I I understand that and I get where OJ is coming from as well and I think that is really valid. However as Onipod said we know as see they go yeah. because most of these guys it's when they need you that they will come and look for you. But in the moment they don't need you but well, Samclef is talking, he's not on that table too. Samclef will be on that table that's too what, now. So that's, where I'm, that's, so that's where I'm coming from. It's an artist. That's, it's an artist. Oh, let, me land, let me land now. I'm still on air. Uh -huh, let me land. Well, so, how are we sure uh -huh. that the Samclef that is vexing and calling people out and calling Nigerian like artists out? I like to pronounce his name like the Samclef. Samclef. <laughs> yes. I'm going to say I murdered his name again <laughs> on top of what I want to say. <laughs> How are we sure that he didn't do this to this artist? I, I mean, and we always say this thing where, oh, artists, they stand up for them when they need somebody, but there are some that I know that when they needed help, they never got it. So yeah. they, they don't really feel the need to do anything for anybody. Mm, mm. So maybe, for example, if you reach out to a Bonner boy, for example, I'm just saying, as he has established that, it's only fella, uh, fella's family and his people, his family that helped him. <laughs> Imagine a Sam Clef reaching out to him. I it won't take it, you know what I'm saying? So I think that in as much as you, you, you want to work with these people, you have to understand, one, one, their time as well, because they have things to do. Two, how is it going to add value to their life, number two? Three, did you add value to their life at all? Whatever it is, you know, let's just analyze this. Before you now come out and start whining like a little bit. All right, baby. before we continue, let's go on this commercial <laughs> break. We'll definitely be back with more instruments news. Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Do you still have more to say about Sam Clef? Um, Sam Clef. Finally, finally, <laughs> finally. Yeah. This life, Navai, 
Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's the same way we always say, oh, this artist is a featuring guy for the moment. Yeah, there was a time yeah, that Slimcase yeah. was everywhere. Yeah. Everybody wanted to work with Slimcase because that was the vibe. That was what we're all vibing to. Zlatan, still everywhere. So it's a thing, like Burner Boy would jump on a KLP vibes thing. After, he, after they work together, another artist would be like, oh, this is what people are really dancing to. Let me work on this. Or, gee, true, I'm saying, true, so true, Sam Clef, what the have vibe you really the done in recent times? That we want to jump on your vibe. They said he had a beat or you two to, beats combined, to, a fusion to, of of uh, this trap is and something. For, this is food for thought, by the way. So maybe you should just try to do okay. something. So different. should they kill himself? Do some, no, do something out. different. Okay. okay. Do something different so that people will not want to jump on his vibe again. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next story. Um, to be safe, Hollywood stars, uh, more Hollywood stars, test positive for coronavirus. Yes, in the wake of coronavirus <laughs> pandemic, which has put the world on standstill, more Hollywood stars have tested positive to the virus. British actor Idris Elba announced that he tested positive for the coronavirus, despite not showing any symptom. In a video he shared on social media, he said he underwent medical tests after realizing he was exposed to someone who had also tested positive. Mm -hmm. Check out this clip of him explaining himself hey uh what's up guys so look uh this morning i uh i got some test results back for coronavirus and it came back positive yeah and it sucks um listen i'm doing okay uh sabrina hasn't been tested and she's doing okay um i wasn't i didn't have any symptoms um, get that, get i got me. tested because i realized i was um exposed to someone who had also uh, tested positive. I found out last Friday that they were tested positive. I quarantined myself and got a test immediately. Yes, other actors who have tested positive include James Bond star Olga Kurilenko, who revealed on her Instagram page that she has contracted the novel coronavirus and has been in self-isolation for a week. She wrote, locked up at home after having tested positive for coronavirus. I've actually been ill for almost a week now. Fever and fatigue are my main symptoms. Take care of yourself and do take this seriously. Game of Thrones star um, actor Christopher Iju also announced that he will be going into self quarantine after testing positive and will be staying at home as long for as long as it takes so um christopher is in norway um it just elba is in the uk um olga olga was supposed to be in the uk so we don't know where she's self-isolating right now mm -hmm. so russia and uk so it's so, just it's just a crazy situation right now it's a very crazy situation but you know on a lighter note somebody was talking about how is it that the very rich and popular people are the one <laughs> contracting the uh you know disease but i mean uh, the virus i meant but then you see uh somebody was talking about how they have been taking things for granted in the u.s and they like they go to the store so they go to like you know pe places that are crowded and they're still like going uh, on the with UK. their normal yeah in the UK and all that but then I know that uh, some companies even in the UK I have like two friends who are working from home so they said that uh, there is a particular one that works uh, with the bank and the person is working from home so they're like taking precautions and all that and uh, we just got it I, I saw a news before uh, uh, before I'm we so came out and that was about China that China is dealing with the last or some something like that I hope it's true and uh, well I just hope that this would be neat in the book but very soon so that because it's really really affecting economy people cannot work as they used to work and if this continues oh my gosh like i don't want to think about it's so scary so so yeah, scary i mean this just every time i hear this coronavirus thing i just get scared that you know the the the, the destruction of the world that we've all been scared of is not even coming <laughs> in, in form of thunderstorm or something <laughs> it's coming in something this little like it's just sad and i hope that everyone is fine i'm i'm worried about everybody but i just hope that everyone is it's fine and please be safe out there please Definitely. guys wash your hands don't touch your face don't do nothing don't, don't touch eat what someone you else's don't know. face and don't eat what you don't like know bats please and snake yes ah. thank you god bless mm. okay Whew. breathe in breathe out all right guys that's it on entertainment news